Michael Proctor, a true freshman from Pelham, Alabama, will kick it off. And back deep, number 11, Gary Pegues, and number 40, David Butler to the far side. Alabama ranked third in the nation. The kick goes to Pegues, number 11, right at the goal line. Pegues with some room. Across the 45 to the 46-yard line, Proctor, the kicker, one of the men, and also George Teague. In motion to the near side is Jacob. And the handoff. And across midfield, still running, Robert Davis. The freshman from Birmingham, Alabama, is finally driven out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Howard throws the screen, and it's there. David Butler inside the 25 to the 23-yard line. So two successful offensive plays, 16 yards on the pickup, third down and eight. As that Alabama defense just given up 18% of third down conversions and inside the 20 to the 18-yard line as Robert Davis is brought down by Jeremy Nunley. Pedro Suarez will come into the game to attempt the field goal. Pedro could be a key factor in this ball game. I saw him kicking earlier doing warm-ups easily from the 40-yard line making this 35 yard attempt and it's good and for the first time this year Alabama's defense has given up points in the first quarter Hammond Wilson Shields Stevenson and Patterson a good solid offensive line that's played together for a long time second down and Lassick spinning has got the first down across the 40 to the 43 yard line Ivory Hilliard, number three, came up to make the tackle along with Ray Adams. Gene Stallings' first game as head coach at Alabama. Hallman came in and beat his uh, former mentor and head coach at Texas A&M. Classic with a big hole that time off the right side, inside the 45 to the 44-yard line, where Carlton Buckles and Ricardo Washington make the tackle. I mentioned Lassick has had a good last four games. Uh, he has rushed for 444 yards and five touchdowns in those last four games. As Palmer comes in motion and they give it to him around the right side, Palmer cuts it back toward the middle. He is dangerous every time he touches the football as he gets to the 30-yard line. Seventh play of the drive, second and seven. As they give it to Lassick, cuts it back toward the middle. He's got the first down as he's pushed to the 20-yard line. Darrell McCorvey, third down and two. Parker incomplete. And we're waiting for Michael Proctor to see if he can put the three points on the scoreboard. 29-yard attempt. He's 14 out of 22 so far this year. And it's good. So Proctor has tied it up with 7.27. Left to go, first quarter. Pitch back, fumble. Alabama's going to get it. Lemansky Hall, number 11, was the man closest to the football. And on the checklist we have for LSU, one of the things I have is called silly mistakes. That was one of them. Second down and three is Lassick. We'll get it one more time. And Lassick down inside the five to the four. And one of the things that Alabama does so well is their Lassick turnover here. margin. Lassick the deep back. He gets it. Touchdown. His eighth rushing touchdown of the year. Slides to the inside. He's on the tackle. 6'6", 255 pounder on a third and eight. Howard to throw the football. And it was a complete. Oh, yes. what a catch at the 39-yard line. There were two receivers. In the vicinity, Scott Ray, 17. It looked as though it was intended for him, but Jacob made the catch. Last year, they put the ball up in the air about 40 times against Alabama, and Alabama anticipates them doing the same thing here. On second and 10, Howard is going to tuck it under, and he doesn't get very far. He loses about three yards on the play as James Gregory, number 98, a junior from St. Louis, Missouri, was the uh, first man to get to him. And that's the first time he's been sacked over the last three games and he's got pressure on him right now he's able to loot it initially he's got all sorts of room he can get to the stakes and ducks beautiful job by jamie howard the freshman from lafayette louisiana it's third and seven he's going deep 
intercepted inside the five-yard line. Number 10 back there, Tommy Johnson. You're right on that, second and 10. Parker wants to throw it again. He's in trouble, he's sacked. He is sacked by James Gilliard in the safety. That's what it is here. Alabama 10-5, they'll get the free kick. Brian Deal will send it down and bobbled momentarily and then picked up by number three of LSU, Ivory Hilliard. Alabama's defense is so solid, they only send four people, very seldom blitz. Trips to the far side to LSU on third down and four. Howard pump fakes, now he goes deep. He just throws it up in the air and another interception. Yes, another pick, this time by number 13, George Teague. Second down and six for Bama from the seven yard line. And Nothing going right up the middle there as Martin Houston is driven back. Third down and five. LSU two of five in third down situations. Howard eludes the pressure. He's got the first down and he slides inside the 30 from the 28. And off and going nowhere. Stopped at the 31-yard line. David Butler ran into Will Brown. Third down and 11. Howard, lots of pressure. Can't elude it. And might have lost the football. At the 40-yard line, he did. And it's recovered by Frank Godfrey, the center. He was originally a defensive player, but then they moved him to running back because of injuries. Now he's back to where he's comfortable at. Is Barker on the middle screen to Palmer. And Palmer is wrapped up at the 32-yard line. Fuller once again there to make the tackle. Williams came in, knocked him down like a one pin in a bowling alley. Chris Anderson took the brunt of that, the ball carry on third and two. Pass completed to the near side. Prince Wembley makes the catch, and that's more than enough for the first down as Ray Adams makes the tackle. Pump fake. Barker again. And finally gets the receiver at the 37-yard line. The catch made there by number 85, Curtis Brown, for the short pass. Little Johnny Unitas move there with that double pump fake. The pitch back, and they fake the reverse, and the ball is kept. Number 33, Chris Anderson, is finally dropped inside the 15 at the 12-yard line by Carlton Buckles. First and 10, the pitch back, and now they give it to Palmer this time. Barker with the block. Palmer inside the 10, down to the 6-yard line. Third down and just about an inch. Barker will get it off the left side. No problem there. First and goal from the 2. Anderson, touchdown. This, just ask for a valve. That's all you got to do. First and ten. Jamie Howard's got time to throw. Got a man open downfield. And a terrific catch by Scott Ray at the 47-yard line. Good thing there was no white jerseys around them. First and ten. Howard, once again, another good pass. Inside the 40, down to the 37-yard line. Torrey James, the freshman. James is the motion man on the play action and look out. Howard is able to throw it. Oh, what a terrific job at the 22-yard line by Scott Ray. And Lynn, you talk about this so often, how the receivers got to help out the quarterback in trouble. Third down and three. Davis is the deep back. Howard under pressure, gets rid of it, and they've got the first down. Odell Beckham. The fullback from Marshall, Texas, Jermaine Williams, number 32, set behind Jamie Howard. And he's just going to throw it out of the end zone. There was absolutely nobody there for LSU. Pedro Suarez with the field goal attempt of 26 yards out of the hold of Chad Loop, and it's blocked. It's blocked. <laughs> Back here in Baton Rouge, that was 11 plays, 65 yards, over 3 minutes and 41 seconds, and the Tigers came away with nothing. They trail 17-5 to as Alabama 
across the 30 and all the way up to the 35 yard line for the Crimson Tide. Sherman Williams. Dick Tomey said, You got to remember one thing. That game was in Miami and they didn't respect us. This game's in Tucson and Washington respects us. Palmer. Excuse me, Williams. Across midfield. Down to the 42 yard line. Sherman Williams now has touched the ball on consecutive possessions. 110 left to go, first half. Barker with a lot of pressure and just throws it away. Now, where's the receiver? There is none. Yeah, there goes the flag. They finally get the flag. Deal back to punt. That was nearly blocked. Buckles calling for the fair catch at the 21. He loses it, but they say he was down. They say he was down at the 21-yard line. They can only they can rush four people and put good pressure on the quarterback and keep seven people back in the coverage. This time they rush only three. Howard got his receiver, number 87, Brett Besh makes the catch, and it's a first down. Second down and five, no timeouts remaining in this first half for LSU as Jamie Howard eludes some trouble, finally throws it over to the side, and will his receiver get out of bounds? He does. His tight end, Harold Bishop, and this will be from 54 yards out by Pedro Suarez. He's got the leg to do it. That's way short that time. Never really got any height on it. And that completes the first half of play with the third-ranked Crimson Tide of Alabama leading LSU 17-5. On a third down and four, they've outrushed their opponents uh, per game, 221 yards to 59. And on the third down, the pass complete. And to the 29-yard line is Chris Anderson. And Barker has not been as calm as he's been in other situations. On second and four, Anderson with the pitch. Anderson down the sideline. Anderson has got one man to beat, and he doesn't do it. He's finally stopped inside the 10-yard line and a couple of missed tackles on that play. First and goal from the 8-yard line as right up the middle, driving to the goal line was Sherman Williams and... They're going to mark it just shy. Giving this young sophomore a chance to run. They give it to number 20 once again, Sherman Williams, and they signal the touchdown. And he struts his stuff. Curry came into the game with 17 quarterback hurries. He's got three more today. As on the second and 10, Davis gets the pitch, and there is nothing. There is nothing. Action by Barker. They're going to try to set the screen up to the right. Anderson has got no room to go anywhere as Williams was right there to make the tackle. They've got a comfortable lead at 24 to 5. Blocked. The punt was blocked. Wesley Jacob fumbles it around. It's still being fumbled around. And LSU is going to come up with it. LSU has got it inside the five at the three yard line. Third and goal. Howard with some play action. Trying to find some penalty marker is down. Jamie Howard finally is pulled out at the 10-yard line, but there was a penalty marker down early in that play. Talk to his players, come up. Holding defense. Toomer tries the right side. He's got to turn it up. Battles touchdown, LSU. Jacob in motion to the near side. Howard on the option. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Being through the pro wars and everything else, he enjoys the recruiting process in college football. On second down and 10, there was some movement on the line. No flag and wide open. And across the 45 and now past midfield is Steve Buskey. The tight senior end. tight end. Third down and seven. Alabama's four of eight. Third down situations. Barker pressure. He's dumped at the 46-yard line. The second sack today by LSU. And it was Bobby Williams. Second down and seven. Howard oh, looking on the right side. Gets it downfield. This tight end makes the catch. Harold Bishop. And a pickup and a first down for LSU. Drew Pearson did that one to the Dallas game. Yeah. Twisted in the air, came down, twisted his knee. Exactly. Third down. 
and a long one. They throw it downfield, and the reception made yes, and it counts. Scott Ray, you he was bet. The team. Scott Ray, the junior from Baton Rouge, five receptions, 57 yards, first and ten at the 33-yard line on the option. Now Howard's got a man open, and he just throws it up in the air, and it's going to be picked off. At the 24-yard line, George Teague, and man, did he have a receiver, Shedrick Wilson, wide open. And he launches it like a rocket. Because he had his man wide open. Second and six. Third and six at the 30-yard line. Barker flips on. He's down. Ricardo Washington was the man that came and got him. Second down 11. Howard on the run. Oh. Almost a grab over there by Brett Besh. And Howard is down at the 25-yard line holding his right arm. We'll come back with Howard Kent. Look out. They give it to Palmer coming around. LSU, what a terrific job. And once again, Bobby Williams. Boy, has he come up big here today. Third down and 12. Backside. Mike Steptoe. The fourth sack today. Chad Loop, the junior from University High in Baton Rouge, who started six games last year, the first two games this year, has checked into the game at quarterback. First and 10, 32-yard line. Plenty of time to throw, and he finds his tight end, Harold Bishop, a junior from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, if you will. Second down and two for LSU, 12-49. Left to go in this football game. Loop to throw again, and he comes to the near side, and yeah, he made the catch on the near side over there. Brett Besh. Loop. A lot of time thrown across the field is tight end Bishop. That's a first down at the 37 yard line. First and 10 from the 39 yard line. Luke three for three and 30 yards on the play action. And a moment. Well, he gets rid of it. No, they're going to say he was down. They're going to say he was down. Last time LSU beat Alabama was in Tuscaloosa in 88, 19 to 18. Bama's won three straight. As the pass thrown to the far side and right on the sticks. The reception made over there by Prince Wembley. Second down and seven. Pitch back to Anderson. Good bit of running there. Anderson still moving past midfield. Anderson inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. And Chris Anderson with the carry of 34 yards. Alabama doesn't have a lot of big, big plays, but they've got a lot of plays in that 20 to 35, 40 yard area as the ball carrier, and look at this terrific move by Sherman Williams, able to stay on his feet to get to the 30 yard line. I don't know too many young men carry a football, get hit that many times, and still have the momentum going forward. Alabama averages over five yards per carry and a loose ball on the field. And they say Alabama got it. Fourth down for Alabama. And that's easy. That's no problem. That's Martin Houston. All the way down to the 16-yard line. He was on three and trying to put in the air. He said, whoa, baby. Let's go downstairs. Let's go down. Second down and 19. Williams has some room. Williams, touchdown! So those are the current winning streaks in college football of note as Luke is tackled by John Copeland. Uh, Alabama with a couple of timeouts left. LSU with all three of theirs left. LSU on fourth down has converted 9 of 11. And look at that, folks. Make it 10 of 12 on fourth down. Third down and five. Another good catch by Scott Ray. I'll tell you, he has been most impressive. LSU, second down and three. 150 left to go. Luke loses it. And covered 
by LSU all the way back at the 43 yard line third down and 23. Well, Luke, not a chance. Antonio London and Jeremy Nunley, and there's a penalty marker down. Dead ball foul after the play. Personal foul. Offense. Second down and 11. And that should do it. LR. Chevrolet most valuable players of the game are Chris Anderson from the University of Alabama career high 149 yards rushing today and Bobby Williams from LSU with six tackles four for loss and Chevrolet will donate a thousand dollars to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to assist those in financial needs so congratulations to those two players and congratulations to Alabama as they pick up a 31-11 victory. And we'll be back with you on the thrifty car rental post-game report right after this. Hey, number one, baby, we're coming to get you, number one. 